Today I'm joined by Louis Rodolico, a candidate for San Diego City Council District 1. Louis, thanks so much for being here this morning. Thank you. Well, first of all, talk to me about what you feel is the biggest issue facing the district. Well, in District 1, uh, transportation is very big in safety, and I'm a big fan of the Regents Road Bridge. Uh, ambulance times are impacted. Sometimes an ambulance shows up at a house late. The person doesn't have a pulse. They can't get a pulse by the time they get them to the hospital because the roads aren't completed. So it's a big safety issue, I believe, in, in our region. And why do you feel that you are more qualified than the other people running for this race? Well, I was trained as, a, as an architect and I was a pro bono community advocate for about 30 years, including uh, the main advocate for a $300 million transportation center where we moved the train and changed all the roads to get rid of a very dangerous intersection. Let's talk now about the Charger Stadium proposal. I know that's been talked about a lot and a potential increase to the transient occupancy tax. Your thoughts on that? Well, basically, um, the NFL is the 106 richest corporation or company in the United States based on Standard & Poor's. They really don't need us to be their partner. They have enough money to do this on their own. Uh, the, two, the two proposals coming forward both call for the TOT. Um, I, I would like to see a very simple proposal, basically maybe for the uh, expansion of the convention center that basically says we'll raise the TOT 2% for an, an expansion of the existing convention center. That I'm okay with. It's very simple. The two proposals being floated now are very complicated. And I also think it's interesting that um, a very wealthy corporation is looking for us to raise uh, taxes TOT by 30, 40, or 50%, depending on how you parse the statement. And no one's really saying anything about that high percentage, yet when it comes to minimum wage, it goes up 10% and a lot of people are screaming. So we look at corporations differently than we look at those that really need a lot of help in our society. And you mentioned my next question here about minimum wage, your thoughts on it being raised to $15 an hour and how that could affect our local economy. Um, I think it should be raised. Basically, the cost of living is so expensive here in San Diego. Uh, that we really need a higher minimum wage. I think it should be $12 an hour now, especially when we talk about low income housing. I mean, you gotta, you gotta be able to afford your housing. And the higher the minimum wage is, the more people get off public programs. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you know, help, uh, like food stamps and section eight housing. So it takes uh, them out of the government dole and makes them more independent, which is better for the municipalities. And infrastructure, you mentioned it briefly in your initial answer. Last year, Mayor Kevin Faulkner announced his plan to repair a thousand miles of road over the next five years. Your thoughts on that? Is that enough? Anything you would do differently? Well, infrastructure, if you look at the city budget, 43% is infrastructure. And infrastructure is a very vague word. It means different things to different people. Uh, I believe that we have to fund infrastructure. Maybe that's what the TOT is really good for. Or maybe if we legalize marijuana, that's a cash cow. We legalize cigarettes, gambling, alcohol, all our vices. Why not legalize marijuana and bring money into the community to help us with infrastructure and other issues? And final thoughts here for voters. Anything that you would want them to know about you? Well, um, I've been a pro bono community advocate my, uh, for about 30 years. I, I know how to move things politically. Okay, I've, I've had to take the heat and I give it back. So I know how to deal things with very large sums of money in the $100 million range. And I think I'd be a good asset for council. My experience with uh, buildings, uh, building codes, architecture, hospitals, I was a hospital architect. I think I could bring that uh, level of technological understanding to council that they may not have enjoyed in the past. All right, Lewis, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm Melissa Masiha for this week's San Diego Newsmakers for 10 News.